Disney Minnie, Bobot, Robot. Minnie is busy making bumblebee bows in her boutique. She has a very big order to complete. Mrs. Barry called to say she needs two dozen more for the honey festival. Minnie tells Cuckoo Loca. Two dozen more, exclaims the cuckoo bird. Don't worry, Minnie tells her feathered friend. I'll get them done on time, somehow. Just then, Daisy arrives at the shop. Are you two busy bees ready to take the day off? She asks Minnie and Cuckoo Loca. That would be nice, Minnie says, but we've got lots of bows to make. Not anymore you don't, declares Daisy, as she puts a big box on the craft table. Ta-da, cries Daisy, as she opens the box. She pulls out an adorable little robot with a shiny bow on her head. I'd like you to meet Bowbot, our new bow-making robot. She looks simply wonderful, Minnie exclaims, admiring her sleek new helper. She's super bow-tastic, says Cuckoo Loca. Watch this, Daisy announces. She presses a button on the remote control, and Bowbot lights up and talks. Greetings, Mama ma minnie says Bowbot. May I help you with your b, -b, -b bumblebee bows? Why, yes, Minnie says. Thank you, Bobot. Bobot gathers a bunch of ribbon. In no time at all, she makes a display of perfect bows. Making bows is what I know, Bobot says proudly. Wow, she's fast, says Cuckoo Loca. Want to see Bobot go even faster? Daisy asks her friends. She raises the lever on the remote control and pushes another button. Bobot's bow flashes red. Now she's set to go really, really fast. Super speed is what we need, says Bobot. Bobot works so quickly, she soon runs out of ribbon. But Bobot doesn't stop. She makes a bow out of Minnie's chair. She makes a bow out of the curtains. She even makes a bow out of the ladder. M -m -m making bows is what I know, says Bobot, zipping around the store faster and faster. Daisy, exclaims Minnie, if we don't turn her off, the boutique will be destroyed. Daisy tries to stop Bobot, but the remote control's buttons pop out with a loud sproing. Minnie and Daisy need a plan before things get even worse. Minnie notices a button on Bobot's back. It's the off button. But Bobot doesn't stand still long enough for Minnie or Daisy to push it. Leave it to me, Cuckoo Loca says. She flies over the button and... Bobot wraps the bird in orange ribbon and speeds away. If only Bobot's button weren't so hard to reach, Daisy cries. Minnie sees her bow-tastic bow grabber on the table. She has an idea. Daisy, you keep Bobot busy, she says. I'll take care of the rest. Daisy grabs some ribbon and holds it up for Bobot to see. Hey, Bobot, Daisy calls. Looking for this? Bobot sees the ribbon and zips right over to Daisy. Pretty shiny ribbon. Yes, please, she says. While Bobot stands still to look at the ribbon, Minnie uses her bow grabber to push Bobot's power button. It works. Bobot finally rolls to a stop. Poor Bobot says Cuckoo Loca sadly. It wasn't her fault. Minnie looks at the broken remote. Maybe there's something she can do to fix Bobot. Minnie uses a screwdriver to make some repairs to the remote and to Bobot. Before she is done, she ties a beautiful ribbon around the remote. Minnie gives Daisy the new, improved remote control. Now give it a try, Daisy, Minnie says. Daisy presses a button on the remote and Bobot lights up again. Making bows is what I know, Bobot says. She is working again, at her regular speed. Well, Minnie, cries Daisy, looks like we're back on track. Thanks to Bobot, giggles Minnie. You know, there's really no business like ba 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 bo business. The end. Thanks for reading with me. Please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't miss our next story, Easter Bonnet Parade. Bye bye. Hi, let's read Disney Mini Easter Bonnet Parade. The Easter Bonnet Parade is coming up 
and Minnie's Boutique has never been busier. Just about everyone will be wearing one of our Bowtastic bonnets, Minnie says. Isn't it exciting, Daisy? Sure, says Daisy, but I'm frazzled. We're making hats non-stop. I'm worn out just from watching you, says Cuckoo Loca. Well, you can both relax, says Minnie. This is the last bonnet. The next day, Minnie's customers come to get their hats. That does it, says Daisy. The last bonnet has been picked up. Thank goodness, Minnie says. I think we used up every bit of ribbon we had. Suddenly, Clarabelle shouts, All done. Oh my, says Minnie. We've been so busy, I forgot you were here. What happened to all the fancy noggin toppers? Clarabelle asks. They've been picked up, says Minnie. Do you have a hat for the parade? Nah, Clarabelle says. I plumb forgot all about it. We only have these two bonnets left, Minnie says. But Minnie, Daisy whispers, those are for you and me. Oh, says Clarabelle, I'm not feeling too polka dotty. Daisy covers her eyes. I can't bear to watch. And purple really isn't my color, Clarabelle says. Thank goodness, says Daisy. I guess I just waited too long, says Clarabelle. Don't worry, Clarabelle, says Minnie. You'll have a hat for the Easter bonnet parade. You can pick it up in the morning. Really? says Clarabelle. Why, thank you, Minnie. But we're all out of supplies, remember? says Daisy. I'm sure we can find enough odds and ends, Minnie says. You can use my bandanas, says Cuckoo Loca. Look, Daisy says. Figaro brought a ball of yarn. Minnie's nieces help, too. Melody brings seashells, and Millie gives Minnie a heart-shaped jewel. Before long, Clarabelle's bonnet takes shape. Now, let's all get some rest, Minnie says. The parade starts early tomorrow. The next morning, Minnie and Daisy can't find Clarabelle's bonnet anywhere. Maybe she picked it up early, says Daisy. Look, cries Cuckoo Loca. Someone left a note. Cuckoo Loca reads the note. It says, thanks for the hat. I hope you didn't need it. Oh no, cries Daisy. Clarabelle will be here any minute. We have to make a new bonnet, Minnie says. Hurry, grab whatever isn't nailed down. Minnie grabs a tray, a flower pot, some fabric, scraps of ribbon, a bunch of poises, even the heart-shaped knobs off the furniture. Minnie and Daisy race to put together a bonnet. That does it. Minnie says. Nice work, says Cuckoo Loca. Just then, Clarabelle comes through the door. Here's your bonnet, Minnie says sweetly. Oh golly, you must have worked all night, says Clarabelle. You have no idea, Cuckoo Loca mutters. Clarabelle picks up the hat. Why, it's just lovely. Minnie, whispers Daisy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's missing that certain something, says Minnie but I'm just not sure what. Suddenly, Cuckoo Loca flies over and lands on the bonnet. I glued these flowers on, Clarabelle, she says. Do you like them? Cuckoo Loca, Daisy exclaims. Would you please get down? That's it, says Minnie. Clarabelle, look in the mirror. Why, it's wonderful, says Clarabelle. Cuckoo Loca, you're the perfect finishing touch, says Minnie. I am? asks Cuckoo Loca, staring at herself. Oh, I am. Time to go, says Clarabelle. The parade is about to begin. The whole town turns out for the Easter bonnet parade. Hot dog, says Mickey. Your bonnets look great, Minnie. Yeah, and the hats are pretty too, adds Goofy. There's just one thing I'd like to know, says Daisy. What happened to the missing bonnet? Minnie laughs. Take a look behind you. Daisy turns around. There, at the very end of the Easter Bonnet Parade, is Pete. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Daisy, he calls. Thanks for the hat. Minnie and Daisy wave. You're welcome, they say. Somehow, Minnie, you did it again, says Daisy. Minnie giggles. Like I always say, there's no business like the Bow Bonnet business. The end. Thanks for reading with me. Please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss our next story. Ballerina Mini. Bye bye.